This is a bit of a weird one. Spring arms are a super cool component in Unreal, and they're more versatile than you might think. I'm going to show you some simple tricks you can do with them to spice up your camera movement. These tricks won't work for all games, and there's a player camera manager that you might find more useful for this type of thing. But here we go anyways. By default, the spring arm follows the location of your palm without any interpolation. This makes for jerky motions. Thankfully, there's literally a checkbox called Enable Camera Lag that adds interpolation and lets you choose the speed. I like 8, but it's down to personal preference, and hypothetically you could even make a setting for players to adjust this themselves. Camera rotation lag is cool, but I don't recommend it for games where the player needs to do any sort of aiming. Socket offset is where you offset where the camera rests relative to the base of the spring arm. You can adjust these values to give a nice over-the-shoulder camera. Target offset offsets the origin around which the camera spring arm rotates. In general, I don't recommend touching this as it'll give you some strange results. Here's a cool one. This is probably best reserved for game jams, but if you make your spring arm a child of your character mesh, reset the transforms, then attach it to a bone, it'll follow that bone's location while the character moves. Combine this with camera lag and it gives a nice smooth movement bob. Here it is with no lag so you can see exactly what's happening. You might get issues with the camera colliding with your character mesh when you do this, so make sure your character mesh collision is set to ignore camera. If you're having issues with your camera being able to clip through some geometry, try turning up the camera collision's probe size, much better. On the topic of collision, by default the spring arm collides with pawns, which can get really distracting if you're making a game with third-person combat. If you edit your pawn collision to ignore the camera, it makes it so that you can be near characters without the camera throwing a fit. You can also change what channel the spring arm collides with here. And finally, here is a handy function you can hook up to a vent tick, I know, I know, and pair with this string of nodes off the mouse wheel axis to let the player use the mouse wheel to scroll the camera in and out. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found some of this useful. Until next time!